I'm aware you've got a massive following. You've got nearly a million YouTube subscribers. You're an influential person, and you have a lot to say about this issue, obviously. So I thank you for coming in, but I'm not too cowardly to talk to you. Uh, I don't have a horse in this race. Uh, I think I've tried to straddle a divide of being fair-minded with all sides. I've had all voices on the show. I commend you for that, actually, but, uh, to be honest, for bringing me on. But do realize I did caveat that with on fair ground. So let's mm. hope that this interview is conducted. I intend like to be completely fair. Yeah, sure. I, I promise you, because all I want to get to here is a real sense of what is going to happen. We can all look back at. We well, can all look before, back. Well, let me just. Uh, we can all look before back. Before that, Piers. Yeah. Sorry, if you, if you want to say fair grounds, mm. you introduced me as a Palestinian controversial. I actually corrected myself. Right. So I said pro-Palestinian. I meant to say pro-Palestinian. So why did the word controversial come into play? I think you're controversial. So are you? Yeah. I wouldn't. So is the ambassador. Why didn't, right. you, why didn't you introduce her in that manner? I, I'm happy to say that to many people, her views would be controversial. So why didn't you introduce me as the Oxford graduate? Do you want to be introduced as that? Yes. Okay. You're an Oxford graduate. Go ahead. Okay. Um, no problem. You can be introduced as anything you like, frankly. It makes no difference to the debate. Let me ask you this. Where were you when you heard about what happened on October the 7th? I was at home. What was your reaction when you heard? I, I was actually very sickened by it. Mm. And, and this is something I do want to put on the table because I think it's fair for people to know this. In our religion, we do not believe. Okay, as a Muslim, I am a Muslim, and I do not believe in the killing of any man, woman, or children. Um, non-combatants. That is not despite the religious teachings. That is because of the religious teachings. So in terms of condemning Hamas and just jumping straight into mm. it, I condemn not only Hamas but any other entity, okay, uh, wherein it's proven that this has been done, that the killing of combatants has been done. Therein, I condemn any party that does it. Any party that kills people or strikes at people where it's more probable than not that it will hit a civilian target I condemn them, and that's why I condemn the IDF. Because when they strike, they know that it's more probably than not going to hit civilian targets. They know that the majority of civilians, or the majority of people that are going to be affected are civilians. We know that from the various operations that have been conducted. We know that because now in Gaza you find that there is a, a blockade, as you know, for 17 years, but also there is they're stopping them from electricity, water, which is a war crime under the Geneva Four of the uh, of the Geneva Convention, Protocol Four of the Geneva Convention. So this is something I'm surprised you didn't actually mention to the ambassador. But well, I did say, mention. I did mention it. You didn't say it's a war crime. Well, I think it's an arguable point whether it's a war crime. Okay, let me ask you another thing. They, they are saying Israel at the moment Israel is adamant. Sure, sure. They are not breaching war crimes, right? It will be determined. But, but whether, if we could, well, if, it will be determined whether that's the case. No, no, sorry, sorry. What, what that's, is it? That's incorrect. Mohammed, oh, well, let, Mohammed, let me just let me make a point to you back on that. I think it, we, surely we can agree that what happened on October the 7th was a war crime. I mean, when people are taking grandmothers yeah. and executing them, yeah. kidnapping young children, yeah. when, they're, when they're, sh they're killing babies in their cribs, we can agree that's war crime, right? Okay, babies... Can we? Surely, of course, 100%. Right. But babies in the crib, uh, sorry, what was the evidence for that? You don't believe that happened? Uh, the, sorry, CNN, mm. the White House, mm. Uh, Sky News, which you work for, all say it's I don't work for Sky News. Well, you, you're, you're, you're thinking... I did work at CNN. I saw, sure, one, sure. I saw one reporter who retracted it because she wasn't sure about the source. It's then, unconfirmed by the White House. But then the Daily Telegraph and the Jerusalem Post and other sources then did publish pictures. The CNN... Which indisputably showed babies have been killed. No, it showed one baby who has been charred, and that, video, that picture has been put up on Twitter and has been refuted by uh, many people saying that it's actually AI. More no, no, than, that, that's completely untrue. That is, that no, is no, true. What's your Mohammed, source? Mohammed, What's your source? It, there's been a thorough investigation into the so, claim that was put up there by some rogue person on Twitter that it was AI. It has been completely disproven. Okay, let me that ask you a picture, question. which was published What's on the source? Telegraph, What's is, your a, source? is a genuine, legitimate What's your picture. What is your source? Are you seriously arguing that yes, babies yes. weren't killed? And no, I didn't say that. Well, what not, are you saying? I, I'm saying, give me a source. Yeah. You know full well you've been fired from the Daily Mirror for fake images. Mm. So you know full well about the. the I didn't accept they were fake. Exactly. The UK government did. Mm. Yeah, they did. Uh huh. Because so, the UK no, government, just to be clear, sure, sure. had waged, in my view, an illegal war in Iraq. So you're allowed to go would, against which, the government, hang on. and I'm not allowed to go um, against the Israeli no, no. government? You're, of course you're allowed to. So tell me now, what's the source? You, you seem to be making a lot of presumptions about me, Mohammed. Yes, yeah, I was you had the, softball questions I was the editor. Of, ambassador of a no, friend. they weren't. I put all the questions to the ambassador. I was the editor of the Daily Mirror when we opposed the Iraq war sure. on the grounds that I believed it was an illegal war. Yeah. I still believe that to this day. I think Good. it stained this country. Fantastic. I don't think you even knew that. 
I did know that. Right. But I'm not, that's not the point I was making. Mm. I was making the point that if you're allowed to go against a government mm. in their classification of a, an image, mm. then if you have pro-Palestinian uh, activists who are saying, actually, we need to see a source, shouldn't they be entitled to the that? The Daily Telegraph published on page three... Should they be entitled the to that, yes or talking no? About, the Daily Telegraph they be to that, yes said no? they had independently verified should they be the in, picture, Muhammad. No, excuse me. If you're saying that their Primary verification material, is wrong... No, excuse me. Primary source in academia... I know you've done a journalism uh, degree, which mm -hmm. is, frankly, is not relevant to what we're talking about mm. here anyway. Probably is to journalism, yeah. Uh, no, it's not to this conflict, but mm. we academics require primary source evidence in mm. order to make it... The Daily a, a Telegraph said... Source evidence. The Daily Telegraph said they verified the picture. It's, 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 <laughs> that's a second resource. Right, you may say... That's you, a second resource. You may say... That's a second resource. Well, you may say you don't think it's genuine. I don't agree with you. Mm. But the wider point... That was my point. But I the said wider I want a source. Muhammad, I just want to see the evidence. what we're arguing about here. You're not contesting that babies were killed. No, I'm saying I want to see the evidence. So why why are you picking on the semantics of the Rasti of one picture, it's not, it's not. which has been verified by British journalists? Why are you picking on that? British some, journalists some are not example an authority. Some of this wasn't as bad as it seems. British journalists are not an academic authority. You know mm. that full well. You've been fired because, from Daily Mirror for that mm. very purpose. What I'm saying to you is this. Putting this issue to the side, I think you're trying to use as a red herring to, to move away from the what bigger issue. What red issues. herring? This is a red herring because already 1,023 children have been killed in Gaza. Mm. That's why. And you didn't ask the ambassador that question. I literally you? asked the ambassador. No, no, I said 3,000 people have already been killed in a week in sure. Gaza. Well, you didn't ask her. You, did you she even condemn, listen to my it? interview with I the did ambassador? Listen, I did listen, but excuse me. Well, you, don't put words in my no, mouth or say I didn't ask a question. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Do you condemn the killing of those children by the IDF? I'll tell you what I condemn. I yes can, or no? I'm going to answer your question honestly and truthfully. Sure. And Because I've tweeted about this, right? Oh, okay. I think that what happened on October the 7th was one of the worst atrocities I have ever had to read about or watch on. It happens videos. every day in Palestine. No, no. So why do you care it, about that? It actually so doesn't. It doesn't. It, it does actually. No, no. Yes. No. The Israeli forces. I've got the stats for that. Israeli you. forces do not go. Cast lead. It, wait a minute. Protective Muhammad, edge. Go and check out. Muhammad. Israeli forces. Cast lead. Protective edge. Israeli forces don't go into Gaza on yeah. one day and grab grandmothers and kill babies in Wait, their beds okay, okay. and no, no, hold on. Uh, rape and abuse women. So rape, is there any evidence for that? There, it's been re multiple reports no, in no, multiple no, mainstream media whom? publications. Whom? Well, you can just sit here and deny everything. No, right? no, I'm not denying anything. You are. No, I accept that some civilians have been killed. I do mm. accept this. And I, and I already said... You I don't could... believe any of the reports that women were raped? No, I didn't say that. I said that it's still to well, be Do you verified. think they were raped? No, I don't know. It's like the uh, Russell Brand thing. You said we don't know we need to see the evidence. So why do you apply uh, uh, two I'm different not. standards? I'm okay, so it's been reported. When it's Israel, we know they're raped. When no, it's Russell Brand, it's you been, don't know because it's your friend. No, it's been reported by legitimate news sources. When it's Israel, you I know believe, they're raped. But when it's I Russell Brand, you don't know. Them. When it's Russell Brand, you don't know if they're raped. comparison between Russell Brand and what's happening. It's the same thing. It's a rape allegation. Why are you stuttering? I'm not stuttering. You are stuttering.